With the fifth pick of the 2024 MLB Draft, the Chicago White Sox select Hagen Smith, a left-handed pitcher from the University of Arkansas. The Kansas City Royals have the next pick. So a record-breaking strikeout per nine number for Hagen Smith, just a tick ahead of Chase Burns. And I don't know, the White Sox once had Chris Sale slinging from the left side. Is there any comp between that guy? It's hard to comp anyone to Chris Sale, but the chatter in the weeks leading up to the draft is that the White Sox and the Royals were looking at Hagen Smith to do a Brandon Finnegan, or more likely, if we're looking on the optimistic side for the White Sox, a Chris Sale, Greer Crochet, get him to the big leagues as a reliever, and then transition him to starter later and find that he might be good at both of them. And that could happen quickly. I mean, the, the Royals. Well, yeah. Would have been in the playoffs or have a chance to be in the playoffs. I mean, listen, the, the, the best thing about Hagen Smith is his fastball slider is, I mean, one of the best, one top two combinations in the entire country. The old guy, only guy that's similar to him is Chase Burns. The most challenging thing, if you're a team right now, is it's primarily two pitches. But those two pitches are both big league ready right now. It's a fastball that averaged about 96 miles an hour. It's a slider that has as much swing and miss as about anybody in the country. Now, if, if you want to have a knock, the, the control of the strike zone, different than Burns than it has. Hagen Smith doesn't throw quite as many strikes, but you can see the difference. That slider and then the fastball that doesn't have, like, otherworldly spin on it, but his ability to know where to throw and how to use it, he does get a lot of chase on the slider. I, I think you, you see, and Kylie, you dive into this because you were talking about it the other day. It, it shows you where the stuff is. Yeah, if you, imagine you got a pencil in your hand. You want to draw a circle that gets 90% of the blue in it and one that gets 90% of the green in it. They're really big circles. Now, in college, this we know this works. In double A, are they going to chase all those sliders in the dirt? Can he be more precise when he needs to? We had the conversation with Cags. Can he adjust his chase once he's forced to? He demolished college baseball. Yes. Is this going to keep working? Will he have to make an adjustment? Will he be able to? The other one is he's throw on the change up a little bit, a bit of a split doesn't throw it a ton doesn't have a great feel for it is maybe the White Sox maybe the team that makes him throw it 30 40 percent of the time to make sure he's got it yeah. then get him to the big leagues and he know he has it in his back pocket when he's facing real hitters I'll tell you this I chase I chase <laughs> and the reason why I chase is because it's a low three-quarter slot yeah. that yeah. you don't see a lot of it's short arm and there's a lot of deception there and all of a sudden that ball is on you he has a lot of swing and miss on the top part of the zone and that when you start looking up there and you see that slider go to your back Back foot, you start getting those awful swings. I would have been one of those guys getting that awful swing. This guy's absolutely nasty, and he's probably the first pitcher to get to the big leagues. He's a couple, a couple interesting things. He's the youngest pitcher in this class from the college pitchers. Yeah. 20, not even 21 years old yet. He's also already had Tommy John. Yeah. His last 19. year. High so uh, maybe some of the a plus and a minus on his profile is that because I'm with Kylie. If I'm drafting Hagen Smith, you're going to the minor leagues, you have to yeah. throw 25 changeups a game. I don't care what count what side of the plate the hitters on if he gets a changeup, he will be in the top third of a major league rotation I have no doubt about All right, it. let's bring Jeff Fashion in Jeff yeah, Carl at the top of this show we talked about how the major league baseball draft and major league baseball this season are intertwined when you look at what the Chicago White Sox just did in picking Hagen Smith there is a chance that they're going to trade both Garrett Crochet and Eric Fetty, two of their starting pitchers in their major league rotation right now, and they will be looking to get major league bats or high prospect bats in return. By adding Hagen Smith to a minor league group that includes Noah Schultz and a number of other talented arms, what they're hoping to do is accelerate through the draft the process of bringing all these guys up together and having a young pitching core to go with those bats that they're going to get when they make those trades. That's a great point. What's interesting is Higgins Smith's path may be the same path that we saw with Garrett Crochet. I mean, one of the guys, guys that Jeff was talking about right there, that's what they did. Big leagues reliever, turn him into a starter, gets better over the course of time. You can do that with Higgins Smith, and that's a comp that Kyle and I were both making with him right now. It, it's it's not crazy to think that if, no. if they want to push him, he's in the big leagues as soon as they want. They did that with Chris Sale as well. Yeah. High school guy, after the Tommy John surgery a couple years later, seven no-hitters tying a Texas record. There have been two pitchers taken in the top five picks. Caglione may very well be next. I know he's going to be an outfielder, a first baseman, I should say, but he's another pitcher. Anything to glean from the way the first five have gone? Yeah, I, I think everyone wants optionable starting pitching. That's why I see these guys move up the board. All I think right. these GMs are making these picks to the point that Jeff made earlier. We'll see if the well is dry, though, because we've lost Burns and we've lost yeah. Smith.